winners will go through to the quarterfinal next week, sporting the blonde hairstyle. A certain Adam Hastings returns from international duty, having given that try scoring pass to Van der Merwe last week. Stole the ball, first man on his feet. So, first action sees a turnover and the ball back into Montpellier's hands. All in front. But Ball's Montpellier, well, that's an front. early ping, isn't it? By Carl Dixon against we the home side. side. So, I mean, great start, a great kickoff. Glasgow get it back. The side, and then a the fantastic kicker. turnover by Segundo Chalero. And then a technical. This is, this is one of those technical penalties, Scott, that the referees have been really strong on. If you kick the ball, you, mu know, you must be absolutely static, not go forward there. But that was an outstanding turnover there from Chalero. And then sure when it was kicked forward, you can see who's going to go and say that they've got to go forward. All the forwards who are in front of the kicker start going forward. And you cannot do it. You will hear the referee. Referee scream, stop, and that's what they've got to do, and that's what they didn't do. Well, Adam Hastings has a 82% kick success record from the uh, the Pro 14 this season. Kicked a beautiful touchline conversion last week in Paris, and is kicking a beautiful opener today. One and a half minutes on the clock, and already it's Glasgow awful. three points to the good left right. with a penalty from Adam Hastings. Perfect start for Glasgow Warriors. When you're playing away from home, it doesn't matter where you are, but especially when you're playing against a big French team, you want to start quick, you want to start well and get first points on the board. So that's what they've done. Garrido then, the skipper of the home team. And uh, Nick Gregg takes the ball, finds a, a good touch down this near touch line. Quick throw in from this Montpellier oh, no. side. Surely the fullback hoist one high, and Hugh Jones, Stop his back. opposite number, had Stay this one covered. Up. Didn't quite nail his uh, touch there, but it's uh, bounced bounce favorably back into the hands of Montpellier. The loose pass thrown back to Bottier, the fullback. Oh. And Bottier returns one with interest. Hastings back deep on his own. 10 meter line threads one down towards the 22. Good territory gain here for the Warriors, Stop, but Anthony Boutier returns. Bit of kicking, kick tennis going on. And Hugh Jones makes a counter. Playing at full back position today, not in the center. Ali Price finds Gordon and then hands to Lee Jones. First look at. Uh, to Lokotui, the Tongan, and Price, box kicking. Obviously a tactic here, Andy, they're looking to just pin this Montpellier team back towards their own territory. Yeah, a kicking game, a variety of kicking has been so good so far. Hugh Jones, Adam Hastings, and that one there from Ali Price. And Hugh Jones, you see, take the ball in there. He's a, he's a running fullback. He's a centre who's playing out of position. And uh, that's a great kick by Ali, Ali Price to get pressure right on here and a chance okay, for okay. Richard Gray and Rob Harley to put pressure on oh. this Montpellier lineup. Guido will be 35 in June, lots of experience Hold. from the French former captain. Oh. In the scrum cap is Chalero, the big uh, ball carrier in the second row. Camera takes ball up, Can lays the up, ball please? back here and then goes Kubus Renach. Played in the Rugby World Cup in 2019, a Rugby World Cup winning medal. Six, from six. Lee Jones to Hugh Jones. Jones pings one back down that left-hand side of the field. Come out. Very good. Price has this one covered. Bouti was up with a tackle. Use it, please. Hastings goes in to play scrum half. Wait, 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 wait. First look at Oli Kebble taking the ball on. Harley goes over the top of the ball. And Xander oh, Fagerson as well. Please. Protecting the ball there at the back, so Price will uh, box kick. Familiar sight in Scotland colours and familiar sight. Maybe over eggs that one again. Stay, seven. Booty quite happy to try and return some pressure. Jones has this one covered, as you said, and it likes to have a run, but uh, tremendous work by Goosen on the wing to dislodge the ball from the grasp of Jones, and the counter-attack is on. Rates with the uh, chip and kick. He's got gas as Rates, but he doesn't have the kicking skill 
to match. But well, a contrast between the two Montpellier wingers there because Gustin did a fantastic rip on Hugh Jones and then two big passes out to the other side of the pitch and then a poor Rattes. We can see that, the, I mean, there's a massive difference in size there, but it just tells you if you get your timing right, you get your angles right. And then here, kick and chase here. That, that stays in play. There's a lot of pressure going to be going on Glasgow Warriors, but you, you knew immediately it wasn't a good kick. As you hold, Fraser Bang just recently back from injury. Throws one over the top, taken, spilt by Sam Johnson. Keep going by the net. Quite a few of the Glasgow players are sporting the, the new locks. Hastings, Johnson, uh, with this uh, blonde tinge. Uh, Andy, uh, the uh, COVID lockdown means you'll be getting your hair cut very shortly. Will you be getting a rinse like this? Well, hey, listen, married to a hairdresser, I've it's been getting lots of Excellent haircuts balance. throughout lockdown. Balance. And an incident, Adam Hastings, uh, does it, does it certainly have the, the, the bleach going there throughout the team, but they'll be disappointed with that. That was obviously a planned move right over the back to Sam Johnson. And it just, it just, it, it dipped just before. It wasn't long enough from Fraser Brown, but that's a, it's a big ask. I mean, he's an experienced player, he's a great line-out hooker, but you know that's a big ask for the first line-out of the night. Hold up. Kubis Reinach then, the former Northampton Saint scrum half, decides to go back down the blind side. Oh, he's showing a lovely little pass taken by Lokatui there. Big pick up on the charge was for Letta, but he spilt it. So the counter-attack is on, advantage being played. And this is Hugh Jones. I must say, Jones has come into some good form over the last few weeks. Settling into that full-back position is Hastings. Hands on to Harley, Harley to Hastings. This is great, good passing here on to Lee Jones. Lee Jones with the chip ahead, well taken by Boutier. Plenty of enterprise oh, no. here as Serfontaine decides to boot, boot the ball. It's a big old stadium, this GGL stadium. All right, interplay there from Hold. Hugh Jones to Adam Hastings. Well, I mean, a lot of players, both teams are wanting to play. There are a lot of offloads and reverse passes. Hugh Jones seemed to take an eternity to get across there. And you think, what's he doing? And then, oh, no, I'm going to reverse pass it to Adam Hastings to clear the lines. Ended up being a great decision. Confidence from the fullback. Yes, we hold. Incidentally, the fullback, Hugh Jones, made his debut against Montpellier in December 17. Guido oh. finds camera. Slip back. You must pass the ball back. You cannot slip back. There's another technical penalty at the line out. Instruction. We might see it again when the lifter brings the, must pass the, ball the receiver back. down. Then it has to he has to play it back, allow the competition. That's what the referees are looking at, to competition. No, no, no. The slip back in the I'd love to know what's written on Adam back. Hastings' hands there. Did you see that, Scott? Lots of writing on his hand. It's like a playbook on his hand. If you watch this here, when it goes up, camera takes it beautifully there, and then okay. they separate and then come together, and that's where Carl Dixon has penalised them. Where should we stay? Yeah, wearing the scrum cap is Bastian Chalero. Came into an offside position. Back to the action with Glasgow Warriors, Fraser Brown. Plenty of enterprise in this uh, Danny Wilson's line-out. Just a knock-on! Just a knock-on! Sam Johnson delivers ball back to Price, look at Tui. Just a knock-on advantage, just a knock-on. He's made quite an impression since he's arrived at Scotson. This is Ollie Kebble. Right. Advantage is over Kebble now. gets the ball back, goes for the uh, short pop passes. Uh, Ferguson off Price. Price goes down that uh, side. No, no. Again, just runs into a huge tackle there from the blindside Van Rensburg. Well, the tackle was good for me. Thought the alley the wasn't guarded right. and suddenly Van Rensburg came in and flattened the Glasgow scrum half. I think Ali Price was trying to I'm milk a penalty the there from Carl Dixon, thinking that Montpellier were offside, but all it was is actually Nick Grigg got in his way, slowed him down, and then he got absolutely smashed there by Van yeah, Rensburg. Yeah. And just a slight yeah. knock-on there, which is a shame, because up to that point there was some, some good enterprise from Glasgow. Yeah, there's some big hits going in, we're there's some real on. physicality. Rob Lozowski there at standoff just aiding that tackle. And that's what you'll see so much, Scott, tonight. There's a big first hit, and it's the second effort when people come in, you get the double hits that are required these days. Crouch! 
Well, we talked about the size of the Montpellier, Five. Pat, but you can see there that there's only two kilograms Six. between these uh, two units, so let's see how this scrum goes. Reinach then feeds Sefontaine, who just takes that short angle, and uh, Glasgow Warriors not, not clearing away quick enough through Hastings and also Sam Johnson. Listen, that's going to happen a lot tonight. Serfontaine's just going to run straight at Adam Hastings and Sam Johnson. And he had the momentum there. There wasn't a big first hit. There wasn't a double hit going on. So they had momentum. And then once you get tied in there, you just can't get out. And you, as much as you want to roll away, because everyone does these days, but you look at that, it's a big hit. Adam Hastings and Sam Johnson are just stuck in there. And that's always going to be penalised. But that's a big carry, isn't it, from Serfontaine? Well, first off, Sir Fontaine, feature for that South African under-20s team in the World Rugby Under-20s Championship in 2012. Interesting enough, Ollie Kebble was part of that side, wearing the Glasgow Warriors colours. Sir Fontaine feeds his second row, Chalero. Well, he, he was a bit slow, uh, Reinach, I think he was looking for his penalty. He has a little chip kick towards the box. Oh. Hugh Jones lets it go. No Net gain is, is good, gone. though, for Montpellier. First solid bit of play down, down into that Glasgow 22. Yeah, I good play by Reinach the there. Sort of slow ball. Chalero takes it on here. Some tr Glasgow trying to hold him up there. And Xander Ferguson, right to, he's allowed to compete because he was the first man. Great throw by Brown, taken by Lokotui. It's become a favoured tactic, that, hasn't it? It's just crept into the game over the last few months. A lot more throws over the top of lineouts. Use it now, please. There's a headshot here. Awas, who has a bit of history against Scotland, or Scottish teams, sent off in the Six Nations last year. He's coming to clear out Fraser Brown. Carry on. And it looks like there might okay, let's, so let's see if scrum. we can see it again. So Oli Kebble takes it in and Awas gets a bit of a high okay, so tackle there. He might get penalised actually for that. Play. But they're looking at this tackle. clearance. There's so Fraser Brown the and the French director pulls out just before the French player hits the Scottish player. Okay, I'm trying to get an angle, mate. Just bear with us. Okay, I think the angle was coming, wasn't it? We're just taking our time. Player needs to be seen anyway. So let's just take our time. This is what works so well the in the Six Nations, okay. Scott, the communication between the officials. So that's that's yeah. a high tack, that's a penalty because it's around the neck. So I think that's okay. the minimum is going to happen. But it's, it's what happens next, Scott, is no what I think they're actually looking at. Okay. So Fraser so Brown now, are you okay? I'm just trying to get there. the clear out, mate. Now we get the clear out. You have a high tackle, just trying to get the best angle. Okay. It seems we have a natural stoppage. From that angle, Scott, that doesn't look like there's anything wrong, but it's where the contacts happen, so we, we need to so see from a different angle. Play. I'm just going to start with a high tackle that we have from um, on the ball carrier. Yeah, yeah I got nothing else, mate. OK, mate. so it's a high tackle before that, so high tackle. I, we don't know if Awas has been lucky there because we've not seen the other angle, which will say where the contact is. When you're only showing it, and the, the team will probably ask for it, but the... The French match director's only given that one angle. You can't say there was any foul play there. All our angles might have shown differently, so that's why they've just gone with the penalty. Well, there he is. He's a big unit, isn't he? 12 caps ever present in this year's Five. Six Nations Thanks. at uh, 123 kgs. Momo, they call him. Hastings Stop receives 12. the pass from Thank Ali you. Price. There's three Glasgow players on that far side. Well taken by Boutier, who sets off on an angle picked up. And great pass here and pick up. Well, the try could be on on that far side. Lazowski had taken up that position down that blind side. Vansan had been involved in the move. And then for Letta, Lucet brought forward, takes the ball on. And now it's Charleroi. <coughs> Reina at scrum half. He has a dig. Awas gets his hands on the ball. He has a little drive now. Fagerson's in with a tackle. Van Rensburg then picks. Played in the second row last week, and Van Rensburg back in the uh, back row this week. Camera goes over the top of the ball. Garrido is also there, the captain, wearing that number two jersey. Vanish offside! So an offside, so advantage now being played. Reinach goes into the ball. Okay. Yep. Okay, perfect, thank you. 
Numbers are coming. Oh, just about from Kubas Reinach. The scrum half hole was threatening that area. Otakui was over the top of the ball. Captain. Let's just listen in here. A number of penalties have obviously coming. That's that's move away, move away. Three offsides, huh? Any more down here? Three offsides. Three offsides. Three offsides. One, two, three. Okay, so I just need to get the mark. So we have three separate occasions. We have one in the middle. We have one in the middle there, and we have one on the 15. In the middle here? Okay. In here? Post. So again, very clear officiating there from Carl Dixon. Three offsides on the trot. So that means Glasgow Warriors have to have to take the extra half yard, Scott. They've got to come off that gain line, which is really difficult because you want to be there to I'll have that you, physicality. So this is a tightrope now that Glasgow need to, to, to walk on because the referee's now looking for it. Well, the captain, Guerrero, just decided just to go for the three points. I know there's always an awful lot of debate as to whether teams should just continue to scrummage and try and force another penalty and then the referee has no option but the three points is good and uh, Anthony Bottier with that original pass to Vincent in the centre it was good play that led to the attacking position but Glasgow <laughs> three times were in an offside position the score then three all yeah, that's a fair reflection. Glasgow have had some uh, some good play, but so have uh, Montpellier. So uh, it looks like both teams are going to play, and uh, hopefully we'll get some tries. It won't just be penalties. It certainly looks like there's enough enterprise out there for to give us tries. Well, Rates took that ball on the fly there, manages to uh, get some support of his forwards. This is Rena. Just asked for his pod of players to come in tight. Awas. Up against Sander Ferguson. Van Rensburg with that blue scrum cap. He's over the top. So another South African, Reinach. He directs the trade. Everyone in front now. And the ball back hold, into Lazowski. Good clearance downfield. Good exit play there from the French outfit. It is good exit play. And so much exit nowadays is from the nine. But you can see there a good a good setup, a good pass from the scrum half, and a solid long kick can really relieve the pressure. Move orange. As we look at uh, Rufus McLean, signed for Glasgow from the Forsault Rugby Academy. Just signed well. back in there, uh, or made his debut for Glasgow back in January. Thomas Gordon then feeds his uh, fellow back rower, Lokatui. Price. Well, camera was in an offside position the offside. there, and uh, he, he looks for those penalties, Got Sally Price, oh, and. Uh, Quite sensible play from a scrum half. Yeah, definitely. You, you've got to to, to see what's happening. You, you've got to play. If it was on, he was, it was obviously quick ball, and you'd be passing it. But if there's a if there's an easy three points, then a good scrum half should should just play what's around him. And it all came out. Tom Gordon and Camera were having a bit of a battle, and it's a clear penalty. So why not take the easy three points for Hastings? <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I know. I agree with you, but I need you to not pull them and then go. Well, I mentioned earlier on that Adams Hastings kick success is 82% on the bench. Young Ross Thompson, who's uh, been in that standing form, has got a 92% kick record. Here's uh, Hastings then, nails that one through the middle. So Pops Glasgow, two penalties into the lead. Six points to three over Montpellier. Adam Hastings with the two penalties. Yeah, that's a good reaction from Glasgow. You can see the penalty, you go down the other end, and you immediately get one back and retain the lead. Just what you need to, as I say, you just keep that scoreboard ticking over. And uh, they'll be quite, Danny Wilson will be quite pleased with that first 17 minutes. Another long kick, this time taken by Lee Jones. What? This is uh, Fraser yep. Brown, restored to the action. Use it now, please. Price just uh, gets ready for the uh, Fully the box kick. There he is off his uh, left foot, finds a safe touch. Just ask the question perfect. Say one. Well, it's, uh, these stadiums, uh, they, they ring empty, don't they? The GGL Stadium here in Montpellier. Normally we'd hold 15,696. Uh, Interesting, the stands, Andy, around the pitch, they, they're about 12 feet high above the pitch. Mm. You see here that Garrido is just throwing in, there's a bank of concrete 
and all the uh, changing accommodation and extra pitches oh. are here. You can just see, and the uh, the atmosphere rings around normally. Great wrap around play by Lazowski. Good offload there by Vasan. Back to Lazowski is uh, inside partner. Rip forward, rip Johnson forward. came in to rip the ball, but Rates has his hands on the ball on that far side. Ryan Eckett, scrum half, looking for runners, but crossing, uh, crossing the given. Here for being ripped forward. So have a scrum. But ripped forward. Well, Johnson had uh, gone in yep. with a tackle, and a good work from the midfield, the midfielder from Glasgow, but he'd forward. ripped the ball forward. Scrum. Yeah, it's a good bit of upper body strength. Again, decisions as a as a defender, you go in, you, do you go in for the hit, do you go in for the rip? A lot of wraparound move, wrap, wrap around move here Let's from Montpellier. Really and uh, Make sure we let go of him. Never let go quite, of it never quite came to anything, but, you know, again, showing Rozovsky going uh, a bit wide. Didn't quite work. Communication wasn't quite good, execution wasn't quite there. From that previous wow. angle, it looked as though the Glasgow defence is operating well. Set! Before the ball came in, he's fine. Reinach scored six tries in the top 14, sets off the play. Lazowski. Now, this is Rates in off that left wing, tackled by Johnson. Lazowski. Puts the ball into Begonia. The number eight for Montpellier. Now, another error in the midfield, so free ball for Glasgow. They're playing really flat, Montpellier, which is exactly what you need to do, but you've, you're, all it does, is it really exposes your skills. You've, the passing has got to be so accurate. And just there, it just wasn't quite there, the stretch for it. And when you've got no margin for error, error when the defence is right on you. Let's go, please, Black. Let's go. One minute, one minute. Let's go, one. Yeah, Nick Grigg in there and uh, Sam Johnson was shepherding. <laughs> tell you, Adam Hastings has uh, been in the middle of a few big hits yeah. that uh, he's come off second best so far in, in two separate ones. Crouch! Bind! First quarter gone there. Glasgow oh. Warriors six points to nil in the lead and a free kick Number one. from that scrum. Too much weight. Your feet and chase your feet. Number one, hit and chase his feet. So it's Enzo for Letta. Well, I thought it was a penalty there, Andy. I thought, uh, but uh, just a free kick. Referee Carl Dixon. Well, he's uh, he's gone for a reset. Let's go, Cavs! Good battle that, isn't it, Oli Kebble there to the right of your picture up against Mohamed Awas. Bit of beef going in there. Set. It's a pretty solid looking scrum. <laughs> Just as I say, it goes down, but ball flicked at the back by Ryan Wilson and uh, Sam Johnson fancies a go from deep. That's the 10 yard line. He's been taken by camera. Richie Gray, who no, no. spent time playing in Castro and Toulouse and Hastings well yeah he was off balance there didn't quite get the distance he wanted Rate is superb a penalty advantage yep the French winger perfect thank you penalty advantage 13 nice little five. interplay in and hands on to the Hig okay we've got two penalties okay we have two penalties one here for off feet and playing the ball but over there for 13 in front okay Never, I've never I'll understood. The they never used to referee. I captained uh, a lot, Scott, and you never. I never had a referee offer me which penalty I wanted. I think this is a strange thing. It surely is the referee's decision, you know, which penalty is the main penalty, and, and just give them it rather than give them an option. I was trying to see what the first penalty was because it was in that collision. This one was uh, playing the ball on the ground, so. Uh, I had him say 13 in front of the kicker, so when, when Adam Hastings put the ball, it wasn't a great high kick, then Nick Gregg obviously yeah, I, in I front of Adam has, uh, has gone first, forward. So like, remember at the very start of the game, Montpellier got penalised for exactly the same infringement. Ozuski just misses that one. 
Montpellier incidentally had eight kickers this season. Uh, Lazowski's got an 80% kick record. And Bouti does a bit of kicking as well. Adam Hastings with the long 22 dropout. So Lazowski. Okay, stop. Puts the high ball up. This one covered by Hugh Jones. Reinach was in with the tackle for Montpellier. Fagerson happy to do the kayak. Ca camera was right over that one. And, well, you have to criticise Xander Fagerson there. He got isolated and held the ball up to allow camera with that important turnover and jackal. Ferguson is so good at those carries. It is a very unusual for him to be penalised like that. You can see he you know, goes in, he goes for, he yeah. just gets a bit exposed. The camera okay. gets on it Post very, goal. very quickly, and they're not going to get rid of him there. Really good penalty there by Kamara. Time's off because we're waiting here. So we'll take our time. We're moving back. So tomorrow at midday in the Heineken Champions Cup, Wasps will take on Clermont, BT Sport 3 HD. And also, what a cracker there down in Limerick, Munster versus Toulouse. Again, that one tomorrow at 2.45, BT Sport 3 HD. Then in the Challenge Cup, we've got Ospreys versus the Newcastle Falcons. That's tomorrow at 2.45. And then the big one, Exeter versus Lyon. That's tomorrow at 5.15, BT Sport 3 HD and on Ultimate. And of course, Exeter, if they beat Lyon, will play Leinster in the quarterfinal of the Heineken Champions Cup next weekend. What a cracker that is set to be. If, of course, Exeter can dispatch Lyon. We're just seeing a okay. few examples of the... The involvement that Hugh Jones has had so far in the, in the first uh, 23 minutes, which has actually been extensive. Sometimes full back, you'll, you, he's not in the game, but Hugh Jones has been hugely in this game, carrying the ball, oh, receiving cold, kicks. So, yeah, he's got cold. obviously picked up an injury there, so, taking the ball into contact, he's got an ankle injury. He's just obviously trying to run that off. And Mitchell, Glasgow please. certainly wouldn't want to lose him. He's an influential player. He's, he's a centre that's playing at full back tonight. He's played a lot of, at full back for Glasgow this season. And he's, uh, you can see him there on the right of your screen there. He's uh, looking rather ginger there with it. I'm not sure he'll be on for too long, I don't think. Wazowski then with the three points. He missed his previous penalty. He's got that one. Ties the scores up at six points apiece. Just over 24 minutes on the clock. It's pretty even, Stephen, in this game. No real opportunity for tries, but as Philippe Saint-André was looking on there... He was a great player, wasn't he? Great guy as well. Great company to be with. And uh, he's okay. had a few jobs over, the, over his time with France, with Gloucester, now with Montpellier. There's Danny Wilson at the top left there. He's had a tough season. You know, takes over as head coach. COVID happens. All the, the funding stops. He's not able to get players in. And as I say, with all the call-offs, all the international call-ups, he's hardly had his full strength team out for any game. So he'll be very much looking forward to having a full pre-season and getting uh, into next season. There you go. There's Hugh Jones off. He certainly didn't look very good, Scott, did he there? And uh, that's, uh, that's a shame for Hugh Jones because he's had a good start to it. But it means uh, Matuwalo, I guess. Uh, there he is coming on, Nick Matuwalo. So he'll probably go on the wing, yeah, I would have thought, and uh, Lee Jones Stand back on him, go at fullback. We'll just have to wait and see how uh, that pans out. Put, put it this way, I wouldn't put Matawalu at fullback. Lee Jones with perhaps the uh, better ball skills, although Matawalu not taking anything away from Nico Matawalu, wonderful let's get, let's get. ball player. Let's get off. There we go, I'll get it as soon as I can. Just... This Florian uh, Verheg, he's a... Four. Tall unit, isn't he? Shillero as well, alongside him, two two meters, two centimeters. He is tall. He's he's, he's been brought up on a stretching rack. And Rensberg went up on the dummy, but Richie Gray did well to get across. Price had to go back down on that bobbling ball. Did well though to gain the extra couple of meters. Kebble in at the scrum half now. Vegerson. He'll protect the ball this time round. Thomas Gordon. Strong, rugged flanker on the open side. This is Hastings on to Sam Johnson. Managed to escape the tackle, tackle now, of Arthur Vincent. 
Lokutui. Camera went in for the tackle, as did Awas. Now Richie Gray, who did so well in that line-out to win possession for the Glasgow Warriors. Don't lift the ball. No clear lift. But, uh, they've gone back. Grigg with a pass to Johnson now. This is Lee Jones. Rufus McLean steps back in against the green. Well tackled there by uh, Vansat. Good break by Grigg now. Grigg, solid player. On to Lee Jones. Harley goes over the top to try and secure the ball. This is Price to Hastings. Hastings has a little dig back in against Van Rensburg. Van Rensburg caught at the base there. Penalty advantage being played. So it's a free ball for the Warriors. Can the Warriors unlock this Montpellier defence, little show and go from Rufus Ooh. McLean, and well, it was a great tackle, wasn't it? From Reiner. Going backwards. Good bit of play there by Glasgow Warriors. Looks like Rufus McLean has gone to full back when he's played a lot there as well, so it's a good decision. A good play there. Nick Gregg right. got down the left hand side. Adam Hastings is just controlling things really well. And uh, they'll be really pleased with some of the formation there of their attack. They didn't quite get over, but they've got a chance to, to get back in the lead there. Great just to lay the pass from Ali Price there, just to, to bring the defence in. And Rufus McLean there, absolutely smashed back, but that's OK. Keeps the ball going. He scored a wonderful try a couple of weeks ago for the Warriors down at the Millennium or the Principality Stadium against Newport Gwent Dragons and he has got gas, he has got serious wheels and he's got a great future ahead of him. Adam Hastings with the penalty of the night on offer which he strokes through the middle of the post so Adam Hastings, nine. Montpellier, six. And Glasgow will be feeling very comfortable at this stage in the game. Yeah, I mean, neither side. I mean, Montpellier obviously got close to the Glasgow line and held up before a penalty. Glasgow haven't looked like scoring yet, but they're just in control, as you say. They're, they're putting good shape. There's good shape in their attack. There's some bite in their defence. So they've not got the tries yet, but they've got their noses in front. Fully bind on, please. Now use. Arthur Vansan there Stay three, in the don't 13 move. jersey, he was up. He's been doing a lot of work in the defensive chores. It's a poor kick. OK, what is that, sir? Poor kick, because it was outside, the ball was outside the 22, so... Uh, well outside the 22, it wasn't even on the, those borderline ones, and Ali Price will be disappointed with that. He's a good kicker. And that's just when you, okay, as a no, scrum no. half, you have to keep that ball in the pitch. Let's go, please. How many? Five. Yeah, it's a difficult one, just having that discipline, trying to eliminate the mistakes because it gives free attacking ball to Montpellier Garrido. Finds uh, camera once again. He had 63 line-out takes in the top 14, so he's a go-to okay. player in this line-out. Reinach wants the ball back. Garrido's in there. Little chip kick through, chased by Goosen. Oh, Goosen, he almost had it. Price went back for the tackle. It's a penalty try. I think it's a penalty try, and Ali Price could be check. out. Potentially an early tackle. OK. OK. I no think problem. this could be okay. seven points from Montpellier and Glasgow down okay. to 14 so. men. So let's listen to Carl Dix and see what he's asking for. Tempo? Yeah. Going up to you. We're just looking for an early tackle by um, Black 14. I'm oh, sorry, Black 9. So just, I'm just taking one look at it, just a knock-on for me, as he's touched the ball, so therefore he's deemed in possession. So it's just a knock-on, scrum, black. I completely agree, yep. mate. He's in okay. possession as he's touched it. Wow. Oh, no. When I watched that live, Scott, I, just, thought, just I thought that was going to be a penalty yeah, try because I thought <laughs> Ali Price had taken just without the ball and what his actions had stopped a clear try-scoring opportunity, which I think it, it was. What you see in slow motion, he just got it right. He just oh, he had he okay? had the, the, the hands on the ball, Gusen his hands on the ball when Ali Price made his, his intervention, so he got away with it. And you but can, just yeah, and you can see the big smile as wide as a Cheshire cat from Price. Similar situation last Friday in Paris as well, when France scored near the end of the game. So instead of seven points and down to 14 men, they've got the scrum on their five-yard line. So 
Wow, that was, uh, a, that's a big turnaround, that. Slip here. Just a slip. We can move across. As you said before, the pitch sometimes. Just needs to get height. If it's up, bring our feet a little bit up. Fancy being in there, Scott? <laughs> no chance. Important scrum, though, for both Glasgow Warriors and Montpellier will want to turn the screw. Needs to be solid up front for Letta, Girido, Awas in that front row. There's Ryan Wilson packing down one his 50th cap for Scotland last Friday evening. Set. Step. Price then feeds. There's a little bit of an edge there, but it was a great Hold strike. Seven. Thank you. And Adam Hastings clears upfield. He's not found touch and taken by Goosen. Feeds uh, his full back. Boutier. Nice. Boutier just kicks deep. But well taken by Rufus Bubble. McLean. This way, 10. Well, McLean's really caught the eye, hasn't he, Andy, since he's uh, had a run of games in this uh, Glasgow team. And he hasn't found touch there, so advantage back into Montpellier, who set off on the attack through Rates, but Booty drops the ball. Knock on by Orange. Then knock on by Black. Thank you. Well, Pelly have made a lot of unforced errors knock so far, around. haven't they, Scott? They've just, they're, they're trying to play, they're trying to offload. Clearly, that's their game plan. And it's uh, its always that risk. Is that There's an element of risk in it, but when it comes it's off, it's great. Black. And at times, they've got in behind Glasgow, or once they got in behind Glasgow, because now. of an offload. So they're, they're, not, they're not scared of trying it, but it's just not quite clicking for them tonight. Yeah, well, since uh, uh, Philippe Sadondri took on. over this team, they've won the last uh, four four games out the last five and last weekend they had a wonderful victory away to Toulouse by won that one by 29 points to 16 so there was a sense for Montpellier who are currently in the 11th place in the top 14 that they were coming good but certainly the mistakes have come thick and fast in this first half it's a better scrum advantage Adam Hastings has plenty of space. He goes for this crossfield kick to Lee Jones on this side. No, no. That was a really good scrum by Glasgow. Cats. Really good scrum. They, they got it back and Cats. then they went for the second push. And you know it's a it's a it's a tactic. Number one, the, the, a lot of teams use when they've got a good scrum. They go for that second effort rather than just get the ball in and out. They go for the second effort to get the penalty. Why? Because then you can kick to the down the touchline, another 40, now, 50 yards, and then mean? start. you start to play from a line-out. Yeah, goes Enzo Forletta there. He was up against the tight head for Glasgow, Xander Fagerson, and much has been said about Fagerson's scrummaging. It has improved over the uh, last few years, and certainly a contender for the Lions as well, Andy. Well, his red card against Wales in the second weekend of the Six Nations didn't help, but... Actually, nobody really came through, and I think the way he played against France last week and what we're seeing so far to, tonight, Xander Ferguson is absolutely in the mix okay. there to get uh, on the Lions tour as a tight five. head. Four or five? Thank you. Well, as you explained, the secondary shove came in looking to get that penalty, which Nine. they did do. They've now cleared downfield. So, Fraser Brown, the uh, line-out has been good so far for Glasgow. Plenty of enterprise. This time, Gray goes up, taps to Gordon. Gordon, a little step there, the former Curry player who signed for Glasgow. This is Kebble, finds a little bit of hole. Down to 22, Brown now takes it on. Now, where's the collector's support from the Glasgow team? Alvas over the top there, but look at two, he got the ball back. Fagerson just makes a few yards, tackled by Forletta. Hands and feet. Brown once again, five minutes left within this half as Thomas Gordon gets his mitts on the wall. Look at Tui, takes ball on, the drive comes in. Good play by both Kebble and Gray to gain the extra yards. And Fagerson once again takes the ball into the contact. Tackled by Awas, wider ball to Grigg. Camera is in with the tackle. Price has a little dig now, Jones over the top, this is... Ryan Wilson, look at Tui, steps back in against the green. 
Thank you. Glasgow just have to be patient as they build the phases here. This is Wilson, Fagerson once again with Release another down. carry. Oh. Kebble came on the short angle, but Brown took the ball on. Well, you can see Kebble just disgusted That's with himself, just flopped over the top. He did, did. and Fraser Brown pushed the ball right back, so there was nothing there really for Ollie Kebble to, to link on with, to, to bind on to, and his, his knee just went down, which, uh, and because it was so exposed, it then was easy for Carl Dixon to see that. Up to that point, oh, there have been some something. really be powerful told. carries from Xander you Fagerson, from talk. Richard Gray. As well. You know, and they were looking good. Ali Price is controlling I, things I, I nicely guess, at the base mean, there. So He's delaying his pass. He's having a go himself. But we'll see here. Yeah. Fraser Brown gets in there. He pushes it back. Look, Ali, Ollie Kebble, just his right knee goes down. He seals off. And he was so exposed. It was a, an obvious picture there for Carl Dixon to see. So Garrido then, six, 74 caps for Scott, uh, for France, I should say. Ball taken on by Bastien. Chalereau, the uh, second row for this Montpellier outfit, wearing that big Use it up, scrum, please, scrum cap. Oh, sorry, Awas is back, Reinach will clear. Well, he just fumbled at the base there, but it went backwards, according to Put referee side, Carl Dixon. Fine. Oh, Lee Jones got terribly wrong there. Backwards. It went backwards, oh. so he got another bite of the cherry. Mopped up by Harley. All day now, stay where you are, right? Thank you. Adam Hastings shapes for the kick, but it's just straight down. Out. The fullbacks throw up there. Oh, Rufus McLean had a second bite there. In the follow up from Serfontaine. He's a big unit. Serfontaine playing in the centre for Montpellier. This is Richie Gray. Chalere. Excuse me. Price then to Brown as the uh, Glasgow Warriors try and see out this half. Three. Thank you. three penalties to Adam Hastings against two penalties please, from now. Alex Lazowski. The fly halves trading penalties with each other. Stop, stop, stop. Price. Thank you. Better height on this ball. Yeah, you're right now. Goosen. So the ball back into the hands of Montpellier as Enzo for Letta. Takes it up to that halfway Jack, line. Reiner at scrum half. Pops up. The box ball. Oh, it bounces for camera. Clear release. Well, Lee Jones went in there, but uh, having made the tackle, the referee decreed that he hadn't had a clear release. Let's listen in. Before. You're one of your players, your vice captain asked me to speak to them to stop talking every decision. You're talking every decision. Oh, so I'm you talking might. To my if you don't agree with me, just keep your opinion to yourself, okay? No, sir, I'm talking to Thank you. When, you, when you're told no to stop talking to the referee and you start talking back to the referee, that's maybe not the right thing to do. But the, um, listen, it's, it's how you communicate with the referee is absolutely key. And uh, just at the moment, though, okay, I'd say Montpellier are winning no, the, the, the aerial I battle. They seem to be, to be winning the high ball. You see Lee Jones there was the one who's penalised. No, no clear release. That's what Carl Dixon said. So it gives Montpellier yeah. a good attacking platform just before the end of this half. More Ball back. taken by Van Rensburg at the front of the line out. And Montpellier just creeping around the edges here. Thomas Gordon in with a good tackle. Lockatui comes in. The breakaway by Garrido. Is he over? He is! Guillaume Garrido, the captain from Montpellier, gets the Momentum. opening try. All and that's Montpellier in the lead at half-time. That was a good line out. It was a good driving ball. Garrido, Garrido with so much experience there, he just timed his exit from the mall really well. But you see that, I mean, Adam Hastings has been dragged in there because where they got to, and again, great decision just when he went. You could see that. It'd been powerful up to that point. So he, he took over from Forletta there, and as I say, when you when you exit a mall, you've got to go for the line. He just got, he was short Tries to begin with, yes. but you, he just his momentum got over. As you said, Andy, it was just good execution. You sort of sense that if they got that line out right, the drive was going to come on. 
And Glasgow, who had done so well, they uh, had an opportunity themselves at the far end. So if they've got their didn't take it. Bound, they could do Penalty they conceded by Oli Kebble. Yeah, the original bond, the allowed original the bond. territory and the possession to be given back no, to Montpellier. They scored the try so through Garrido. The yeah. extras coming in from Lazowski, who does well to pop it over. That's the half-time whistle, which she's Montpellier head into the changing rooms at half-time, leading this game by 13 points to nine over the Glasgow Warriors. It's been an entertaining game. Three penalties from Adam Hastings, two penalties and a conversion from Alex Lazowski to the try scored by Garrido. So final confirmation of our half-time score in this European Challenge Cup match. Montpellier 13, Glasgow Warriors 9. So the kickoff is by Lazowski, former Saracens player, and the ball taken there by Lee Jones. So the second half, Andy Nicholl in the lead is Montpellier by 13 points and I have Glasgow got enough in their tank to see this next 40 minutes and get through to the quarterfinals next weekend. Yeah, I think they need a good start. They probably need the next score, Scott. I wouldn't want, from a Glasgow perspective, see Montpellier getting further away than the, the current four points. So uh, it's a big, uh, a big start for Glasgow required and that's not going to help. Well, our referee, Carl Dixon, penalising Lee Jones. Well, there's not an awful lot of room down that far touchline. Alex Lazowski felt he could have got a few more yards there, but Lee Jones was uh, deep to come in, and then Tom Gordon came over the top. But I think it was Jones who was uh, penalised there. More stay! Now come. Van Rensburg went high in that line-out, didn't he? There he is wearing the blue cap, the South African, as uh, Awas, the prop forward, takes that ball um, up to the 22. Fraser Brown trying to come in and dislodge the ball. Big reach then from Begonia, the number eight for Montpellier. Now Reinach at scrum half and ominous times here for Glasgow as the uh, captain Garrido, the try scorer from the first half, takes the ball on as does Camera. Richie Graham with the tackle. Good momentum being built here from Montpellier. Reinach down that blind side they go, the carry from Alexandra Begonia. Good defensive effort there from Ollie Kebble. Cameron wanted the ball to come down that blind side, but uh, Awas was standing, the pot of three players takes the ball on. Chalero with the support, but the ball was spilt and Fagerson comes away. So Glasgow with a good defensive set. This is Price. To Hastings, the call is with Gordon. Gordon just slips there. Sam Johnson has to go over the top. Never on the ball. Never on the ball. No, no, no. They're not afraid to have a go, Andy. No, they're certainly not. It went to the wrong player, unfortunately. It went to Tom He's Gordon. Then any of the backs, that might have been game on, but uh, he'd lost his feet as well. So, you know, it was a good defensive set. They couldn't concede there. I really don't think... I think that was really crucial and a really solid defensive set. Good turnover. And then finally, they've managed to clear their lines from a good kick from Ali Price. Fraser Brown there worrying about... Uh, or, complaining that he was taken out there and they were binding up before contact but it was a good it was a good steal there from uh, Lokatui Poto Lokatui who was recruited from the Doncaster Knights played for Counties Manaku earlier in his career Montpellier up to the 10 metre line they go Reinach delayed onto the ball Lazowski Good hands here from down the wing here. And Rates, oh, simple stuff into Botti. That was clinical finishing. And the interplay between Botti and Rates was absolutely top drawer. That was class, absolute class by Montpellier there. Look at the way that the attack manipulated the defence. Good passing, good hand, Matuala comes in, and it's just a bit of pace, and none of the Glasgow defence can influence it. Really, yeah, really good, good play there Thank by you. Montpellier, and Boutier goes in for a very well-worked try. 
Uh, Buti stayed on his feet well, didn't he? Got the inside pass from Rates. It just made it look so simple. Rufus McLean got sucked in on that wide angle. And the extras here from Alex Lazowski uh, is good. Yeah, it really was good play here. Matawalu came out the line. If you came out the line, you've got to make man and ball and stop it, but he doesn't. And I tell you what, as many a winger out in the world would not have been passing that back inside. Rates could easily have taken the tackle and scored quite easily, but he pushed it, put it back inside to Boutier, and that is a very good score. And that, that puts real pressure on Glasgow now. 11-point game now. They must, absolutely must, get the next score in this game if they've got a chance of winning it. Yeah, two tries on either side of half-time has taken the game in Montpellier's favour. Rates with that uh, acceleration down this near touchline to create the try for Boutier. Yeah, Fraser Brown got on that, latched onto it, and there was no one from Ampelli. So, so I th it'll be interesting to see a decision now. They're 11 points down, there's plenty of time. Remember, this is just, it's knockout rugby, Scott. It's about being at least side. one point more than the opposition. So. I think it looks like they're going to go for the corner here. Well, in knockout rugby, I'd be taking the three points there, but... On the line, please. It is what seems to happen these days. We see here, look, Fraser Brown, he just gets on it. This is all about, he doesn't have to, to have the ball because the Montpellier player is north to south. If we're thinking comp a, a compass, he was able to just hold on to the ball. He didn't have to get it and he got the penalty. Okay, Orange, step off, step off the line. Oh. Fraser Brown then. He's opted to go for the line out rather than the penalty. Oh, a drive down the side, but. Uh, it was Xander Fagerson who seemed to trip on the turf as he spun round the front of that line out. Brown with the carry, protects the ball well. Price asked for Kebble to come round the corner. Now, can Glasgow reset and get a driving position? Bounces, roll. Montpellier just a bit sloppy from getting off the ball. Alexander Bacogna might be penalised. Certainly, advantage being played. Yep. Here's Sam Johnson, took the short line and got the pass away. This is Price, this is Hastings, steps back in against the Montpellier defence, tries to offload ball. He knew advantage was coming, though. Rolling away. Yeah, I'll be interested to see what they did. The, the line out, the, they went for the line out last time. I think you're absolutely right. Zana Fakes and almost just fell as the, the mall just started to get a bit of momentum and, and that just gave the. The owners back to Montpellier there, so they're going for it again. They're fancying their chances here. Crucial, crucial that they score here. It's crucial that they convert this into five or seven points. How many? So this round is 16. Just a wee reminder in the European Challenge Cup, it's straight knockout. Whoever wins this game goes through to the quarterfinals next weekend. Fraser Brown with the line out. Glasgow have been quite innovative, but the steal at the front of the line out from Montpellier, absolutely crucial for the French team. Brown's right in there. Ryan Wilson trying to hold ball up. Harley doing some good work, but the ball's just going to go out here. Add more, that's it. Yeah, he's absolutely knackered. I don't think he's injured. When you're wrestling and it's an arm wrestle, it is absolutely sapping your energy. And I think he's just taking a moment. But there is a great, you know, great defensive play by Montpellier. But you, you, you give up the three points that both. I think Adam Hastings could have had either of those kicks. Three points. It's 11 points down. You know, you take it to eight points. You just start to edge your way back in this game, but. Looks Glasgow still got the line out. They're still in the 22, but they're now closer to the 22 than they are the goal line. Well, it was Florian Verheeg who got up. That's uh, a great run by Johnson. He cut a good angle there, didn't he? Now, momentum is with Glasgow. Brown with the carry. Price at scrum half. Invited Ryan Wilson onto that ball. This is Tom Gordon. Just brought down four metres from the line. Glasgow switched the play. This is Price who slips on the surface. 
and away. meters from the line. Lokatui latches onto the ball. He delivers out, one out to the pod. Ball's over the top there, but another penalty. He must go all the way back round. Brown goes for the line, reaches and scores a try. Fraser Brown, great instinct. So the perseverance paid off and Warriors right back in this game. Absolutely, and that was really good attacking play up until that penalty, and then obviously a good decision by Fraser Brown, take the tap and he got over. But up to that point, it was quick ball, Scott. That was key, a great line from Sam Johnson off the line. Then it was quick ball that Ali Price was able just to, to generate momentum. And this is the end of it. Fraser Brown takes a quick tap. It's a great stretch under a lot of pressure, and that's exactly what Glasgow Warriors needed to get back in this game. I think they're just having a look at it, Scott. Just Tempo. to see they're looking at Tempest, to get the, the TMO. I haven't got anything to overrule yet this second. So the on-field decisions try, so the TMO has to see a reason not to give the try. So there's, oh. if the angle, let's have a look at this. Just so he takes the quick penalty, he stretches. Oh. I think that's, is that? Oh. Knock on. Oh. So, te tempo. Yeah, Our on-field decision was try, so we just need to make sure that he has grounded the ball and he's in possession throughout the whole so process. So his left hand, if, if you not, watch this... going back for a penalty for offside. It's not this angle, okay, I don't think, by. shows it, but his left fingers is still on the ball and that's all you need. You just need to have downward pressure and control just getting the last angle again, mate, in slow-mo. Okay. The other angle's angle better. Us. OK, mate. Not that one. Why we keep <laughs> seeing the same angle? It's the other angle that... So this is the best angle, Scott. You see here, he stretches, yeah. he loses it, but the left still has control. Now, the interpretation, has he lost control so, from his right to hand to his left hand? Let's see that. and possession of the ball throughout the whole process, and he grounds it. So if there's any separation, it looks like to me there's, there's some separation there before he grounds the ball. That's what I was saying. For the, was there between the right hand okay, having I control have for you. to the left? Yep. He's not in control of the ball. So okay. he's lost control forward, so you need yep. to overturn your on-field decision, please. OK, so I'm going to overturn my on-field decision. However, five was offside who made the tackle on two, who took the quick tap. So two will go to the bin, and it'll be a penalty on five for the offside. That is actually a okay, really mate. good referee. Okay, five, please. I think they've made the right decision on the no try. try. Because there was that five, separation from that and made the tackle. between the right hand and the left hand wasn't in control, time, time but then it was a quick penalty. They weren't back oh. the, the the five. They penalty. weren't behind their try line, Offside so five, they've come back to that. So Glasgow now have to go again. They'll go for I think they'll go for a scrum here, Scott, and uh, with the with the added with the extra player, and then they'll try and get the the try this time. Yeah, Bastien Chalero heads for the bin. And he's a yeah, weighty so campaigner. Because he made the tackle on you because you're offside. Perfect. Please don't. Let's go. Let's go, So Brown opts not to scrum, but just go for a tap and go. Oh. Well, Johnson did well on the far side, but it was Anthony Boutier who read that play with the tackle. This is Lokatui. And Rensberg in with a tackle. Oh. He's rolling from side to side. Yeah. He must present the ball. You know, really interesting decision there by Glasgow. When it's you take a quick, well, you take a tap penalty five yards from the line. You normally put, go for the power, don't you? With the likes of Xander Fagers and Ollie Kebble, Fraser Brown himself. But they they went for a, a an elaborate move out left, out to the left, out to the backs, and it didn't quite work. You see it here, Richie Ollie Kebble picks out to Ali Price, to Adam Hastings, and it gets out to Rufus McLean, keeps hold of the ball well. But, you know, it just, I still think, I think the power and the extra man would have been the way to go there. I think a scrum would have been a better option with the extra man, Scott, yeah. than just going for, for that play. And as it is, it's been turned over, and, you know, that, that there could be the game. Well, I think as we've seen, we've seen fine margins between success and failure. Hold his arm. Certainly in the Six Nations, oh, that four. was the case. And in knockout rugby in Europe, 
these are the decisions that you've got to make in the yeah. heat of battle. And the Rixie Gray there going up, real good competition with Camera, but he Let's deemed ball, just with Camera getting just in front of him, then he dislodged his arm. Ah, and so, in two penalties, on. Glasgow have gone from being on, being oh. right on the Montpellier try line to now defending in their own, in their own half. And that's just how quickly this game can turn. Camera once again with the uh, tape, but it wasn't straight. You may have heard that over the uh, referee's mic from Fraser Brown, on, Fraser. suggesting that it wasn't straight. I think I think it was it wasn't straight. I don't think the referee has just reacted to Fraser oh, Brown uh, articulating what you saw, but uh, you yeah, know that, that was, was uh, that was quite important for Glasgow there to now so get the possession. So you know, there's seven, seven minutes make sure they with the extra man. They've take got to take advantage of the Scott. They've so got to get a try take. to get right back in this game engagement. when they've got the extra player. So a big scrum here for uh, Glasgow. Well, Pelly have conceded 18 yellow cards and one red card throughout the season. It was Immelman in the match in the earlier stages of the pool stage of the Heineken Cup who was shown a card. Collapse. Collapse. Touch goes gave that Scott, three. but you can just Collapse. see when you get the scrum, you have they taken the scrum on the line, the five yards out. There's a you know penalty try option there. So poor decision back. making by Glasgow, both in uh, in the what they were trying to do and then putting okay. out wide when they could have had the extra man, the power you, you need to, to exploit that advantage. Yeah, I I, I agree okay, with you, Andy. It was a, a perplexing decision that Fraser Brown made, having had. The big second row, Sinbin. But uh, the rest of the uh, the night is finished for uh, Mohamed Awas. That's not straight. <laughs> Clearly not straight. You can choose a line out for the scrum. It's a catalogue of errors from both sides, isn't it, at the moment? So Passing it's. Um, Let's go down the middle. You know, it's these things Pull like that, out. Scott. You're, you're again, reasonable field position. Straight. You've got the extra man. Execute yeah, your basics. Lomistel is uh, Tito Lomistel from the Saracens Club. The USA prop forward is on, on the field of play. Pass <laughs> out. Oh. As you said, Andy, yeah. catalogue of errors. Yeah. <laughs> Number 13, bad entry. Okay. Um, captain, that's... Captain, where is it? Again, we had this conversation the first half. I don't want people appearing for every single decision. If it happens again, I'm just going to overturn it. It's every single decision. Okay. And that's probably that a frustration injury. if you could hear that, Carl Dixon. Every decision has been questioned by the Glasgow players. Sure. And that's probably a frustration out of what's happened okay, in the, these, these 15 minutes of in the course, second half because no it's problem. not started well. And so here, Glasgow are taking the three points, Scott, when, they're, when they've got the man advantage. Yet they didn't when they were 15 against 15. I just think decision making, leadership has just been questionable in this last 10 minutes. Adam Hastings with his fourth penalty of the game added to the try from Fraser Brown. So Glasgow put some points on the board with. Uh, Montpellier having a man in the sin bin. Okay, thank you. And then off the bench comes George Turner. Turner, who had a wonderful Six Nations. Part of that winning Scotland team last Friday night in the Six Nations in Paris. And on comes uh, TJ Ioni. Okay. okay, we all get to go. And he's on for uh, for to Lokatui. Confirmation then of the score. 20 points to 12 in favour of the home side. Van Rensburg appeared to go in high on Lee Jones. Turner takes the ball on. Use it, please. No, no. Ali Price with his traditional clearance kick. 
Hasn't found touch, so the opportunity for Buti, the try scorer, to release Reinach down that far side. Reinach gets the ball inside, but the foot in touch, and it was the scrum half on scrum half who made the tackle. It was too easy for Mompelli to get down there because it was actually really good kick chase. Look at this. They just you know, Tom Gordon and Lee Jones had to be better connected there. They weren't, and then it was good tackle by Ali Price, nine on nine there. And Reinhardt just has to stay in touch, Scotty, ha sorry, has to stay in field. He cannot get tackling the touch there. Figerson then has to mop up at the back with the, uh, the support enough, drive. Make sure stationary. Price, this time plenty of uh, direction on that one, clears uh, the ranges there. Didn't say anything. Sorry, we're going to have they're going to have possession with just over three minutes left in the sin bin. Ali Price has got a really poor. I think I think he's not going to play the whole game. George Horn is back from injury and he is a game changer. He's got oh, that ability please. to score tries. And Danny Wilson will will play that card at some point. I've no doubt about that. I imagine around about the 60, 65 minutes that you'll see George Horn coming off the bench for Ali Price. Enzo Folletta gets some running repairs. Just on that yellow card, 4.14 points. Montpellier concede in the or have conceded in the top 14 when they have a yellow card. So currently they've conceded three points. So they're below their average as Garrido takes the ball into Gordon. Gordon with a tackle. Reinach with the pass gets the support of Arthur Vincent. And the big second row, Verheeg. Oh, around comes Xander Fagerson. It might have been offside. And then cutting back against the green is uh, Ivan Reilhack. Uh. High tackle. No, no. It's back here. That was holding on. But a high tackle here. The mark's yeah. back here. Yeah, I agree, mate. Number one, seatbelt tackle only. So yeah, it was Oli Kebel, just uh, high Number tackle. One, high you may tackle. have heard seatbelt tackle, which means it's just it runs up over the shoulder and uh, no malice, no foul play, so just a penalty. But yeah, we'll see it here. Just, yeah, it just rolls up there. You can see just over the, the shoulder area up to the neck. So, you know, pretty easy three points from Montpellier. And so Glasgow. You know, again, this will be a minute Dicker, down tempo. there, so it's only going to yeah. be a minute Just left. Kick, please, I want to look at the actions of potential foul play here, please. mate. Oh, potential foul play being looked at, Scott. So, we're looking at the actions of Black 20. Correct, mate, we are. We're looking yeah, at the actions Chichi, of Black Ioni. 20. Okay. Right, thank you. Oh, that is... That's shoulder to head, but I think his right arm is engaged, let's see here, that's leading with shoulder, is that right arm, the, the, the saving, the only thing that can save Ioni here is if the right arm is engaged, but that is shoulder into the face, which is foul play, so Scott. we're looking at... Starting uh, red. Foul play. I believe we have head contact, is the, that correct? I'm getting you the best angle to show it. Okay. So yeah, we do have... <laughs> Direct head contact. Yes. And the tackler is at fault because he's hitting up in the tackle. I agree. Do you agree with that? So we've got a high degree of danger because he's launching into the tackle. He's going forward. This is Red Scott. So now we just need to decide on mitigation because he is making a legal tackle. That right arm is coming around to make okay. a tackle, so it is legal. Now we just need to see if the height will mitigate this down to a yellow, because at this moment in time, we're at red card on the fa with the facts we have. Yeah, just getting the angles, mate. I agree with everything you've said so far. Again, very clear from Carl Dixon. So it's the height. Is, is the height, the fact that the player is coming down slightly, is that enough to take this from red to yellow? I don't think it is. Yeah. I don't think there was a, enough just, of a change. That's, that's He's what, always going in high. He's always going in high only there. Yeah. He's yeah. running the risk. Speed, as well. Yeah, I like it in real speed as well, please. Yeah, my take on that, Andy, is he, he, Ioni is coming from low to high. Now, he's already committed to the tackle. Yes, the, the player is. It's a very and close one. It's one right on the line, isn't it? The height. Yep. Do you think there's enough drop in the height? So they're just looking like, at the drop in the attacking the player. 
Was that enough? Just at the end, his head comes down, so, doesn't it, Scott? For me, I'm not seeing a considerable drop. However, there is a player tackling the man. So I'm at red card, unless anybody can tell me something different, because I don't see the other tackler bringing him down to a height, which is, um, would, would make it significant. I have no other facts, mate, what you've said. So I agree. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Red card, mate, yeah. It is red card, Scott, and I think yes. it is. I think going through the protocols it. and the, the, the no. framework, it is a red no, card. No. It's going to be a red card. So, OK, I'll explain it to you, no problem. So, what I'm seeing is obviously he's at fault because he's high. He's sitting up in the tackle. He is making a legal tackle. However, it is a high degree of danger. And I don't see a considerable amount of drop in that. It's still pretty high. So, no, no, so I'm at red card. As soon as the head, con the, so, the head yeah, contact was made, Scott, wait, then I think they were struggling because it just wasn't any of the mitigating factors there. So it's, uh, it, they went through it frame by frame and the various framework, the mitigation, um, and I think at the end of the day, they've got the right decision. Just finding a mark, just in case the mark is different from where we're at at the moment. So as soon as Montpellier get back to 15, Glasgow okay, go back perfect. permanently to 14. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Same mark, Alex. Same mark. Okay, time back on. Perfect. <laughs> so it was Ivan Relach who is uh, off the bench, who uh, brought that penalty and the sending off on TG Ioni. And Alex Lozowski has the chance just to nudge. Montpellier further ahead. Looks as though that one is no problem at all. 23 points to 12. The Montpellier team lead over the Glasgow Warriors, but more importantly, Glasgow Warriors will finish the game with 14 men and Montpellier back up to their full complement of 15 with 20 minutes to go. Bismarck Duplessis comes on for the captain, William Garrido. Plessy, the uh, Rugby World Cup winner in 2007 with South Africa. And he'll relish his chance in this uh, European Challenge Cup. Well, that's some experience they've got, Hooker at Montpellier, no, no, no. Garrido and Bismarck Duplessis. Still in the ruck. Now use it, please. It's still in, please. Make sure we hold. Outside. Clearance kick from Montpellier. McLean came forward. He's uh, the replacement scrum half on for Glasgow. George Horn trying to score against Benetton Treviso last weekend. He'll add some zip to the uh, attacking prowess of this Glasgow team as uh, Sam Johnson takes the ball into contact, wrapped up by camera. Ball carried on by Ryan Wilson. This is Grig. Grig trying to look for some sort of gap. Turner to Harley, but uh, well, the advantage been over through the fly kick and the, the step and go by Rufus McLean. You stepped off. Nice little interplay there with uh, Harley back into George Turner. Now Hastings. What can he do to probe that blind side? Still has the ball, manages to get to deck, but the steal comes in from uh, Alexander Begoni and Van Rensburg with the scrum half duties. And play starting to go this Montpellier way. The little grubber kick comes through. McLean will have this one covered. Offside. He's 14 offside. Yes, busy. Ball's uh, there to be played. Turner tackled. Yeah! Rattes was outstanding there, Scott, in the contact. <laughs> Turner goes round the fringes once again, but he was wrapped up by uh, Bismarck Duplisi. Oli Kebble has a little go up to the halfway line. There's a little bit of zip and purpose in this Glasgow performance. There's a, a bit of space, two on one on the outside. Greg decides to come back onside. 
George Horn was able to come off his left foot. Lee Jones was coming at a good angle there, but high tackle means that I've just got seat belt. Glasgow have Currently the penalty. Much better. How often do you see that, Scott? A team go down to 40 men, they get a red card, and suddenly they start to play better. There's a bit more zip to them. George Horn has come on at nine, and he's uh, getting the ball moving. But it's just a bit more space, and it's almost like Montpellier. I've thought, red card, we've won this game, because they've just much more... They've not the same intensity in defence that we saw for the first 60 minutes. Yeah, this was Kebble who made big good ground, didn't he? He wasn't held in the tackle, so perfectly entitled to take the ball. And Grigg, well, there was options outside, but he came back on the inside track. That was a bit there. If you can see the high tackle at the end. If, if George Horn had been able to come off his left foot, Lee Jones had connected with him and they could have uh, taken it further. But as it is, they get the penalty and another chance for Adam Hastings to keep his 100%. Thank you. Five penalties for Adam Hastings. And Glasgow are keeping in touch with this game. Pompey leading by 23 points to 15. A try on either side of half time by their captain, Guillaume Garrido. And one by Bottier, the fullback, Anthony Bottier. The difference between the two teams. Lee Jones opts just to get one downfield, get some territory for the Glasgow Warriors. That's the try scorer, Boutier. Gets up towards the uh, halfway line. Lovely, Maisie running. Well, that's forward. Option, forward, into touch. <laughs> I hate to say that's classically French, but oh my goodness, scrum, what a brilliant break. So <laughs> and then an awful pass. I mean, Boutier's got so much skill, doesn't he? So much class, so balanced in his running. Too, too easy in defence. There might be a bit of blocking there by the looks of him, but just as he gets in behind the Glasgow Warriors defence, he throws a shocking pass. Well, he was ever present in the Six Nations last year and then lost out in this season's campaign to Bruce Dulang. It was Boutier that did the, 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 the kick of the season last year, wasn't it? They were in the length from uh, France against England with a spiral kick that was just a thing of beauty. It was. Six caps to his name that scored a try against Wales last year. Coach. So Glasgow, a man down in the back uh, with uh, TJ Ioni sent off in this game. Horn looks to feed the scrum. He's got Reinach over the top of him, but Ryan Wilson picked up, finds Grigg, who just cuts an angle. Pick on eight with the tackle at number eight. One out the channel. Here's uh, Matawalu. Matawalu with the uh, the feet. Two horn. This is uh, Johnson. Rylak with the uh, good tackle for Mopelli. Go. Oh. You're slowing down the ball. Seven. She must release. George Horn was just sort of in front of where the penalty was given, or I think he might have gone there. He injects pace, and that's what Glasgow need to do. They've played really well since they've gone down to 14 men, and people like Matawalu, if they get the ball in open field, they're devastating. And if this game keeps as loose as it is, then uh, Glasgow still have a chance here, Scott, Scott, because Montpellier have just allowed it to go very loose. Montpellier should just be slowing this game down, making it as tight as possible, play the extra man but they've just allowed it to get very loose in this last in the five minutes since the, or six or seven minutes since the um, since the red card happened. Turner. No, finds seven. Ryan Wilson in the middle of that line out. Turner assumes that position and Glasgow with the drive. Chalero comes in wearing that scrum cap is Van Rensburg. Bismarck Duplice. Oh, crafty work from the replacement hooker. That was very smart play. It's all about the same bind. It's not changing your bound. And you'll hear Refi say he held his bound. He just came through it. He stayed for exactly where he was. And he just worked his way. It's a while. You know, it's years and years of experience. Thousands upon thousands of malls that he's taken place when he's taken part in just allows him to come. He's not even in sight there. He's just burrowing his way through. There it is. Now he emerges. You know, up to that point, it had been Van Rensburg that was causing all the trouble. But then... And a fellow South African, Duplessis, comes in. And that's a big play there for Montpellier. Second. Crow! 
count. Five. Well, the game is not quite ignited in the way that we thought it might, but it's certainly been intriguing. We must accept. We can't just step. We can't go early. We must match. We must match. We must match. My only criticism of Carl Dixon tonight, and it's a small one, but it's a big one in the sense that there's no communication of friends. I think all professional referees who are refereeing in the Northern Hemisphere and hence refereeing, potentially refereeing French sides should have some French, because all the French referees speak English. It reminds me, I must uh, practice some of my French. Coach. Monsieur Nickel. Merci. Fine. Set. Well, Pilly then, with the feet of the scrum. Well, Carl Dixon wasn't having any of that. Directions go straight down. Destabilising the scrum. Well, Ollie Kebble with a strict ticking off from the referee. He's impressed tonight, Alex uh, Lozowski. He's done quite well. Why, yeah, he, he has. He um, he's been really physical. They've, I, okay. I, I've been really impressed with Montpellier's line speed and defence. They've flown up um, and, and it's just closed Glasgow down at times. They've, they've just held back a bit more in the second half, but lozowski has been uh, at the heart of that. Well, Andy, you mentioned about Montpellier just slowing the game down. If they just get their, their game right here, they can just command the game through to a finish. It's whether Glasgow can get another score on the board, which opens up the possibility of a late win. Here's Ross Thompson, who's come on for Adam Hastings. So good experience here for Ross Thompson, getting his first taste of European action in the fly half position. Lozowski, well, he had... To, Outside him, uh, Rates, who came in off the left wing, but he knocked the ball on, and ball was played, and uh, Ross Thompson, his first feel of the ball will be his left foot touch finder, down towards the Montpellier 22. Just another unforced error there by Montpellier. We've seen a few of them tonight. You know, the review session on Monday won't look too good. Again, another wrap around there, but it just went... I mean, Rates has to take that. I think he just was thinking about what he was going to do with it before he actually secured it. And when you consider that the, the try that they scored at the start of the second half with Booty, the interplay with Rates was just absolutely sweet as a nut. Sam Johnson picks up the scraps off the back of that line out. Now, what can Glasgow do to finish off this game? They've got the ball, that's the 22 metre line as Turner now takes it into the heart of the defence. No, yeah, no arm tackle there. No arm by four. This is Turner. Turner just searching. Didn't get Craig on the inside, so. Four. See, that's okay. Eight points down. Take the three points straight in front. Ross Thompson. 13. And they're going to be. Just listen There here. could be a warning here. Too many. Okay. Can I do two? Of course. Just. I'm just making. I've got it. I just want to get it. Over here. So, eight point down. Three points straight in front of the posts. Take the three points. Time to talk. Get it within one Time's score. Off. Remember, it's knockout rugby, Scott. Time's this off. is all about just getting ahead at the end of the final whistle. Okay. And Glasgow just need to stay Post in is this. Cold. Time back on. Post. Florian Verhig was the uh, second row. He was penalised in that contact. And well, Ross Thompson, he's had one kick to touch. And this will be a kick for goal. Pretty safe pair of hands, this fella. 92%. In the uh, Pro 14. Remember, he only made his debut back in January. It's been quite a year for young Thompson. Former Scotland under 20s player as well. Good penalty, and as you said, Andy Nicholl, they're now within touching distance of potentially winning this game. Yeah, Ross Thompson's had a lot of game time, which is just great. When you're a, a young player coming in a, in a playmaking position like standoff, you want game time, you want multiple minutes, and he's done that. And uh, Danny Wilson has uh, put the faith in him, and he's uh, he's responded. Matan Devergi comes on to the uh, the second row. Please, please. So. 
Glasgow now with Harley, their most experienced player. 247 yes. games for the Warriors. That's some totals. Oh. Turner takes it on. Duplessis is right over the top. Was it illegal? Same as the one over there. The reason why he's ended there is it's side by number one. Number one. So you get the three points and the then you give away a penalty. One came in the side. Straight away, straight in front of the sticks. Duplessis. Oh. Is it, watching it live against Scott, we might see it here. George Turner takes it in. He gets. He stretches for it. And then he falls over. It's it's that a referee's got a split First second side. to to say the advantage was with Duplessis there rather than it was to That's Glasgow because he was off his feet and he just blew at the moment when it was still in Montpellier's favour or Duplessis's favour. If it just delayed, if, if Carl Dixon delays that slightly, that's a penalty for Glasgow. And you rather sense if uh, Lazowski kicks this one over 26 points to 18 with eight minutes to go. I know you never say never, but surely this is Montpellier's game. But Glasgow may well have a last say. Well, they need to go down. I don't think they concede anymore. Put it that way, Scott. With eight minutes to go and a man down, can't concede anymore, but they need to get two scores, whether that's... Uh, a penalty, a drop goal and a try, oh. that would be enough and that's all they need, but that's still going to be a big ask. Lozowski, oh, this is a booty, my apologies. Music, please. Back to Reinach. I thought he'd be more influential in this game, the uh, South African scrum half who uh, clears with a box kick. Matawalu gets the ricochet and tries to brush off Rates. Such a live wire, isn't he, the Fijian flyer? Here's Ross Just Thompson, take tackle, please. takes the, uh, the ball up to Lozowski, the tackle made by his opposite number. Then. Okay. Horn comes back down this uh, blind side, lovely footwork by uh, Matawalu. Vantage being played as Rates goes over the top. Back here. Now, if you remember, Carl Dixon got Van, Van Sam, who's uh, the captain, I think, or the uh, acting captain looking. now, and said too many penalties. Well, that's another penalty. Time is off. He's a player down. So if he's been consistent, time is off. He's either having another conversation saying you're down last 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 warning, or it's a yellow card. And I don't think he's going to do it. He wasn't, he wasn't part of the tackle. As always, it's fair, very fair, competitive fair. in the contact, Scott. All players, 1-15, to 15, Tempo, got, got to be adept to get hands on the ball. At the moment, I've okay. asked. I know, we're just gonna, we're gonna slow it down to get the footage because we can't get it at the moment. So I'll do this formally because we can't get the footage in the background. So that's why. So we're just gonna check the tackle here. Then the tackle on this player. Yeah, no worries, mate. I've asked the director, so we'll see if we can get it. Just, we'll just it's wait. Not get this, this is way before this. This is. Uh, no, that, I think it's when Oli Kebble you know. yeah, takes mate, it up it. and plays it back. And so this will be interesting to see if the, this is it here. Oh no, it's on George Turner. Okay, so it's the it's the tackle by number nineteen. So it's Martin Divergé, yeah, it's Scott, orange. and he's uh, he's picked up George Turner. Let's have a look at it here. Just here keep it your eyes on it. Yeah. He, uh, he doesn't make. So he actually doesn't ever has the ball. He's and lifted lift, up and down. And he's dropped him. So for me, I'm at a yellow card. It's a yellow me. card. So I think we're yeah, going to okay, be 14 v 14 for okay, the last seven 19. minutes. Off you go. Clear lift for the horizontal and dropped. Um, we're back here. Just to remind everyone, Scott, if you pick somebody up, you've got to help them back to ground. If you just let go of them, they fall if They fall to ground. If it's in the back, it's a yellow. Anything on the neck and shoulder and head is red. So it's a clear yellow card. And so it's 14 v 14. And the game <coughs> is still on. Well, Garrido looks on. Thompson decides to go for the push and uh, keeps the option open of uh, Glasgow. Every time we mention that it might be Montpellier's game, Glasgow somehow get themselves. They're hanging on to the coattails of this Montpellier team. This European Challenge Cup round of 16. Whoever wins this goes through to the quarterfinals. Thompson, okay. rest assured once again. The youngster pops over another three points. Six minutes to go. Let's go, come on. 
Five points in it. Time off, please. Time off. Yep, they've stuck in, Scott. They've reacted really well since uh, I only went off with the red card. And Nakarawa comes on the pitch now. What, what a player to bring on for the last five minutes, six minutes. Well, it's all about whether Lee Jones can give them some of their territory and possession downfield. Turner with the uh, pass to Thompson. Now, Grigg to McLean. McLean, now, if he gets the afterburners going, this young man can shift. Good tackle made by uh, Relic. Ball back into Horn. Now, Thompson, rather static ball here. This is Horn, tries to put some pace on. This is Greg. To, well, it got through the hands of Sam Johnson. McLean had to come on against Vassar Rates. Turner with uh, another carry. Duplizzi trying to go over the bo bottom there. This is Sam Johnson inside to Turner. Montpellier claiming that that ball was forward. Thank you. Thompson. Time is good. To ball. Lee Jones. Oh, the, oh. the ball almost evaded everyone. Ryanach with a lovely little bit of skill. The South African scrum half. McLean tackled by Reinach. Oh, good play there by Montpellier. Well, full credit to Kovac Reinach, the scrum half. He was excellent there. The tap and go from Montpellier. That was uh, Bismarck Duplessis. He took the ball on there. Vantage still being played. And Montpellier got a chance out wide here. This is Rates. Rates, who's a flying machine. Oh, oh this could that be. could be a deliberate knock-on. It could be Let's listen in. Yeah, Certainly a go. penalty. Should be a okay. yellow card. So you have a deliberate knock on? Yeah, deliberate knock on. It's a yellow card. But we just need to check yeah. a penalty try. Yeah, so okay. Okay. okay, so it's a definite so, yellow. Tempo. Now they're just seeing if, if yeah, this. Got all that information, mate. I'm getting the angle if now. The intervention by, I think, is Nick Grigg. If we don't have that, we're going back for a yellow card. Let's see out here. Black Nick 11. Grigg, one hand. No, it's okay, not a penalty so try. Angle, Ryan Wilson's coming in. No penalty try um, because there's a player in between there, so we can't go penalty try, but it will be oh, a yellow card. It's, it's one of those ones, Scott. It, on the inside. The, yeah, one last he's not going for ball that. Ball it ball actually ball probably ball hits him rather than when stretches out. Look, his left arm doesn't doesn't actually yeah, go. So it goes two into. Mate, who could potentially make the tackle? It there. goes into so engaging the so tackle. A yellow card against, and the pass has actually um, hit his arm. That's yeah. how. I'm looking at that. <laughs> it's a yellow. But, yeah, but, 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 but technically, he's, uh, he's stopped the pass. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. You see, that, that is now a yellow card. But it's not like he's gone for it. He's never gone for the interception. He's gone for the tackle. You have a penalty over there for not 10, or you have a penalty over here for the deliberate knock on? But Scott, we, all, we saw when Ross Thompson put a kick through, the bounce of the ball just, it could have gone, easily could have gone Glasgow's way. And that is just the fine margins in this game. Yeah. That's why we love it, because it went, okay. then Reinhardt was brilliant with what he did. He got the ball, he kicked it down, a little grubber kick through. Then we saw a bit of experience from Bismarck Duplessis, took the quick penalty because he knew Glasgow weren't back 10 yards. And then it just forced the pressure. Greg then uh, conceded the penalty and off the, off the pitch for the last minutes. five minutes, the last four minutes. Well, it's certainly been a game full of drama, hasn't it? And at Glasgow right in it at the death. They've given it their all. And it looks as though Montpellier will just come away. Alex Lozowski with his uh, fifth penalty on offer here. Two conversions also to his name. Oh, well, he's pushed that one, has he? Uh, it yes, was he uh, has. a curse uh, from the commentator there. Well, I mean, that was the game. That goes over, and it goes back to being uh, an eight-point game. Straight it's game behind. over. That's Montpellier through to the next round. But as it is, behind. Glasgow still have a chance, even though they're down to 13 men. That's 13 against 14. Uh, Andy, I keep on pinching myself. I just uh, the fact that Glasgow's still in this game. Knock on, but no time to react. No time to react, or we're talking deliberately in front. Okay, so just scrum. Okay. No time to react. So what Carl Dixon said, it came off Montpellier, and one of uh, I think it was 
Forletta played it immediately. And what, what he's saying is it's a, it's, it's a scrum, not a penalty, because there was no time for him to react. No time to react. That could be interpreted in a different way and out being in front of the kick, in front of the player, and so deliberate, and that could have been a penalty. And if that's the case, then a much better field position for Glasgow, as it is. They've got the scrum, they've got players. And Matawalu and George Horn that can uh, can score from anywhere, so they need a converted Fine. try to win this game. Sit. Oh. Well, it's been a brave old Through performance from Glasgow. You've got, you've got to go. You've got to free go. Kick. It's a free, free kick. kick. First one was pretty engaged. Why slow it down? And Ryan Wilson, the uh, co-captain, asked for the ball to be taken. Horn to Thompson to Matawalu, desperate to get his hands on the ball. Tackle. Wrapped up in the tackle by Vansa in the centre. Minute and a half now for Glasgow. They've got to go from uh, well their own 10 metre line. Thompson finds Johnson. Tackles coming thick and fast. That orange wall of jerseys. Let's go. Let's go, Rufus. Go this is Rufus McLean now. Richie Gray in the wide outside channels. It's free ball there for Montpellier, but uh, rather nervous. He's uh, the only Nakarawa. No! Advantage, you come the side. So it's a free ball for Thomas Gordon. Uh, Ross Thompson on the wraparound. Whether there's enough advantage coming here for Glasgow, I'm sure they just like the penalty. I'd because... just take the penalty, Scott, to get the field position. A good kick from Ross Thompson now. 16. We'll get deep into the Montpellier half, and then it's last chance. Last chance for, for Glasgow to get the try, get the conversion. Well, a try, we could have extra time, Scott. Be late, be late for your bedtime. <laughs> so Ross Thompson finds touch. That's a prerequisite number one. Just on the front wheel. Well, we saw earlier on that uh, London Irish scored with the last play of the game to deny uh, victory for the Cardiff Blues. London Irish won that one by 41 points to 35. What can Glasgow Warriors do? Can they gain a victory here in the European Challenge Cup? The round of 16, it's knockout rugby. You've said all along, Andy, it's who finishes ahead on the final whistle. And the Glasgow Warriors, they've stuck to their guns. Stripped but the, the ball was stripped in the tackle by Alexander Bigoni. The last play of the game is Montpellier's. And a game of swings and roundabouts. It's Montpellier that will progress to the quarterfinals. Just disappointment etched on the faces of the Glasgow players. They've been brave in their defeat. They gave it their best shot. But it's Montpellier that win this game by 26 points to 21. <laughs> so, Andy, an uh, exciting game at the finish there. Glasgow did an awful lot to win that game. Yeah, it was a good. It was good. I think the better team won in the end. I think Glasgow played the best when they went down to 14 men. It was almost like they just decided to throw everything in. And, uh, and so they'll be disappointed with aspects of that. The discipline wasn't great at times, but you know, they played some really good rugby at the end and unfortunately they come up second best.